This is the setup instructions for the breakout EDU game, The Mathematician's Code. I'm just going to go through all the parts that I use so that you can make sure you have everything for yourself. Um, I don't have the actual breakout box, so I use that black toolbox as a DIY kit. Uh, you'll also need to have two other boxes that can handle a, a lock, a combination lock. So I use this uh, fishing tackle box as well as this small toolbox that I picked up at the dollar store. Uh, the picture frame as well was from a dollar store, it's just 8x10. It'll hide one of the clues to get started. Uh, things from the breakout kit you'll need are the UV light, the word lock, combination lock, and hasp. Uh, as many keyed locks as you can find. I find with kids this age they just love to open the lock so I try and hide as many keys as I can. They just love trying to figure out which lock they go to. Uh, you'll need the directional lock as well and I use black instruction paper to hide my uh, my secret messages. One thing that you'll have to create is you'll have to get some styrofoam cups and I turned it into a bit of a cryptex. I saw this uh, styrofoam cup idea on Pinterest just for teaching place value and I thought it would work well as a clue. So I just started off by labeling each of them with all the numbers. So this one's all in the millions, hundred thousands, ten thousands, etc. And then once I had the numbers in, I just threw um, random letters in between them, except for the ones that I needed to line up properly to make uh, the word clue. So let's go through game setup. So one thing you will have to make is the cryptex out of the styrofoam cups. Each cup represents a different place value and the code will only show if uh, they are in the correct order. So the students will have to realize the place value uh, as it matches up with the expanded form. When I was making this I filled in all the numbers first. It's obviously very important that the numbers line up with each other so that it makes a straight row across and spells the word. Um, so once the numbers were all in place, then I added in my orange chairs line to make sure it lined up with uh, the correct number in the millions that I needed. And then after that, you can just fill in random letters and all the gaps so that it looks uh, harder to crack. So there are a couple items just hidden around the room in this game. Uh, the first would be the three pieces of black paper that have the decoded messages. Uh, you are also going to hide half of the expanded form number, as well as two of the cups for the cryptex. The rest can be uh, put into this small first lockbox. Uh, next up is setting up the first lockbox that they'll find. So I'll put in the rest, and I do have the order mixed up on those cups so that it's not a giveaway of, uh, that they have to be in a certain order. Also the batteries for the UV light. One of the keys that will go on the hasp on the breakout box, as well as half of the expanded form number set. And that will be locked up with the word lock. In the second lockbox, when the students open the key, what they'll find inside is the UV light, as well as one key to the hasp. So this leaves the breakout box locked with the hasp, and it will have the two uh, key locks that we hid in each of the lockboxes, as well as the directional box that will be solved uh, once the students get the black light working on the hidden messages. Inside the breakout box is just your prize, so whether it's just a sign that says congratulations you broke out, or uh, for my class I actually just put a Halloween size candy for each in there just as a little celebratory prize. Alright, next up we'll, uh, we'll go through the clues in order so we can see uh, what the students will find. Okay, so we'll go through the clues in order. So after finding the, uh, the hidden piece of paper in the picture frame, which they should be able to see through a little bit, they pull it out and find that at the end there's a quote with a missing word. A uh, quick search on the internet tells them that the, the word is words. So they head over to the word lock and they put that in. And then inside they find more of the styrofoam cups to go with the ones they already have. As well as a key that's going to open up one of the hasp blocks. Um, a part of an expanded form number as well as the batteries for the UV light. So around the room they would have found half of the expanded form and they just found the other half in the first box and when they put it together they get a full expanded form number in the millions. When they build that number on the cryptex you can see that it does spell a word, it says the color orange chairs which uh, you could change the color for your room to make it work but that tells them that there is going to be a clue on one of the orange chairs in the room and under that chair is a key. And when they take that key over to the second lock box, it opens it up, and inside 
is the UV light as well as a key to one of the hasp blocks on the breakout box. Putting together the flashlight, they start shining all over the room, they probably turn off the lights and they will find that there is a subtraction question on the piece of black paper as well as on the other parts there is a deciphering tool that's going to help them solve for the directional lock. So once they do the subtraction question, they'll find that their difference was 3,905. So they'll have to go over, and for the first digit, 3, on the directional lock, they'll push up. For the 9, they'll press down. For the 0, they'll go to the right, and the 5 to the left. And that will pop open their final lock on the breakout box. So putting that combination into the directional lock is the last lock to open the breakout box. So the students have successfully completed the challenge. Uh, they open it up to find their prize or their sign and have a little celebration. Um, like I said at the beginning, you can get away with only using the one keyed lock on box number two. The extra ones that I add on the breakout box uh, hasp are just for fun because I know the kids enjoy opening them. You could easily just have the directional lock on the breakout box as the finale. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. I uh, hope you have fun playing this game. Thank you.